Welcome back to 9 Enough Now. So today I am going to tell you about 16 life-altering parenting hacks because I have 16 kids, so I thought that was a good number. One of them is going to be about what the heck is this and this, and let's get started. Yeah. Get busy. Get busy. Everybody get, get busy. I need y'all to report to the dance floor right this minute. <laughs> start on the main floor. I have a few levels to my house and so I try to keep one of these water bottles on each level of my house so that I actually drink water. Oh gosh. Yeah. Alright, first hack, sorry that was just a freebie. First hack is salad bar. Okay, so what we have here is this awesome salad bar that you can cut up everything and prep it all. Down here is two fridges. It's actually been a huge lifesaver to my family. It's also a sandwich bar. It's whatever you want to make. Really cool. Storage and storage. Yes, and if you don't have room in your house for a salad bar. I shared this before, but this is what I used to do. I get a great big bin and then I get small bins that fit inside of it. I go ahead and prep everything for the week, cut all the fruits and the vegetables up, and it just makes it so much easier to pop out on the counter right when the kids get home from school. So hack number one, salad bar, food prep. two people, joyful jurisdictions. What is a jurisdiction, pray tell? A jurisdiction is a certain area of the house that you are in charge of. If you were one of the nun found kids, you would understand that your name goes here and a certain area of the house goes here. And when you are linked, that is the area you are in charge of for the entire week long. And then this rotates. We have used this system for literally about 20 years. Even Kennedy and Cassie will tell you they used to have jurisdictions. Hack number three is the cool thing about jurisdictions is you are actually in charge of that area. Meaning, if one of your siblings comes and leaves something out and doesn't clean it up, you can give them what is called a ticket. And if the kids get three tickets, they are in what's called mom gel, which basically means you have to help deep clean that area that you left stuff out in for a whole entire hour. So it generally keeps people from leaving stuff around the house. It's worked pretty well for me. I've used it for 20 years. It might work for you. All right, on to the next hack. Hack number four, um, this crab right here. If you didn't know, it is actually a... Phone. It is Ledger's phone. And you're like, why on earth are you giving a four-year-old a phone? Here's why. He would always borrow mommy's phone, huh? And when you borrow mommy's phone, sometimes there's apps and things on there, like access to bank accounts and other things that you probably don't want a four-year-old to have. So we have this hand-me-down phone and Ledger has loved it, right? Yeah. It has a crab on it. Yeah, it has a crab on it. And yeah, why it's such a giant case? Guys, it's a real crab. crab. It's a real crab. Crab. Why do you think we have such a big case on your phone? Can I always lose my phone? He always loses his phone and it helps him not lose his phone. Keeps it right where we can find it all the time. Also, I have apps on here that I'm only okay with my four-year-old having, like YouTube Kids and other coloring things and things that only are okay for Mr. Ledger, right? Yeah. Is that but a good hack? Why did I find big YouTube on it? If you found big YouTube on it, then that would mean that somebody downloaded it. Guys, and guess what? Guys. They can't because I have family sharing, so I can see exactly what apps are loaded on all of my kids' phones, and I can control how long they're on their apps and even the time that they are on their phones. So I love that. So they have the freedom of a phone, but mom what? really has control. Hey, it's amazing. Guys, guess what? What? I the two YouTubes on my phone, so now I can find with the YouTube. Oh no, you're kind of crazy. Do you like having your own phone? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. All right, on to hack number five. I am sitting on my bed. Why am I sitting on my bed, pray tell? Because this is a very cool hack. I came up with this a few years ago and I have loved it. My teenagers have loved it. So this is called a safe zone, which means if one of my kids comes in and they're having some struggles and they need to talk to me about it, this zone right here, this is called the safe zone. If they tell me about it here, they cannot get in trouble. Not at all. Not even if it's like a mom, I actually snuck out last night or something really super bad that normally a parent would go, ah! I can't do that here. I have to be like, oh, you did. Oh, shoot. And so what did you learn from that experience? That's never happened, by the way. But big serious things like that, they can tell me here and it's a safe zone and they won't even get in trouble for it because it's a place where it's safe for them to kind of just share their heart, share their feelings. It's not really a time for me to like teach them what's right and wrong. It's more a place for me to listen and kind of validate their feelings and just let them know that they are loved and supported. So 
safe zone. All right, hack number seven. I use music to help teach my kids lots and lots of things. In fact, Kennedy's on the phone here. Kennedy, do you remember how I taught you how to spell your name? Yes. All right, will you sing for everybody how I taught you how to spell your name? <laughs> Oh, I'm a little embarrassed, but <laughs> I'll sing it with you. Okay. Okay, here we go. K E N N A capital D E E. Kennedy, Kennedy, Kennedy is your name. Try it one more time. Try it one more time. Ready? Three, two, one. K E E N N A. <laughs> Good job, Ken. Are you gonna teach your little buddy how to spell his name like that with a song? Of course. Of course. It's the best way to teach kids. All right, thanks, honey. All right, speaking of songs, I have a fun guest that came just yesterday. I'm gonna show you what he did with the kids. From It's Circle Time, we have... Hey! <laughs> this is... Captain Don! And Sarah Sunshine. Woo! And so guys, you have got to check out their channel. It is amazing. It's called It's Circle Time, so make sure you check them out. Why did I invite It's Circle Time for this tip and trick? Let me tell you why. It is super hard to teach little kids like new skills, going potty, you know, just all of the little skills that you have to get when you're little, right? <laughs> um, even like spelling your name, all of those kinds of things. And through the years, I have always used music to teach my kids. Like it's just kind of been something I do. These guys take it to a whole new level and and I love their channel, so you'll definitely have to check them out. But how it helps me in parenting is I feel like kids just can connect with music better than just telling them, right? What does music do like? So, funnily enough, there's a scientific study that shows that when kids are happy, listening to music that's really upbeat connects to their heart. So when they hear an upbeat song, they're gonna get up and they're gonna be excited to learn, dance, do whatever. And then, of course, when a slot song is slow, then their mood might change and it might be slower. So, interesting. Music is amazing. That is crazy. So it literally physically makes changes. That's so cool. And this guy right here, I love. Okay, he is a dad of twins and he gets down and dances with them and sings with them and teaches them in a way that just like parents, it's so cool when you do that with your kiddos. And I love that about you. you. So what brought about this Channel for you guys. So I uh, always loved learning through music. One of my favorite melodies was from math uh, in the 10th grade when I was trying to figure out the Pythagorean theorem and my teacher was singing this X is equal to opposite of B plus or minus square root plus B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. And I still remember it to this day. <laughs> That's amazing! What I wanted to do with my twins was always bring music into our into our life. Mm -hmm. I wanted them to love to sing, uh, love to dance, just incorporate that, show them that it's fun to do it so that when they go out and you know they're into the world, they're not afraid of doing it and they're doing it all the time. When I was coming downstairs one day, uh, my babysitter, Miss Sarah Sunshine, was singing one of the most beautiful songs that I've ever heard. Not only that, she was teaching them shapes, numbers, sign language, all while doing music. And so Incredible. we we got together and said, why don't we take this to another level? I love hip hop music. There's not a lot of channels out there that incorporate <laughs> it and it can be fun and positive and also teach kids the basic foundations of learning. And we want to capture kids between the ages of one and five because 85% of their brain is being developed in that time. You soak up as much stuff as possible. So why not uh, entertain them with some hip hop and some sign language exactly, all together? Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Oh, perfect. Love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I can't thank you guys enough for inviting our channel to your home. We were trying to think about what kind of gift can we give 16 kids, but I wanted to give you guys something that was passionate from my heart, as well as something that could last forever for you all. So I made a song for you guys called Not Enough Nelsons. Wow. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I might mess up, but. It's okay. Did you cry? You know what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm ready. Uh, Listen, I just See, there's not enough family in this world. There's not enough lessons that we can learn. And there's a whole lot of blessings, but there's not enough Nelsons. Listen, 
Wake up in the morning feeling blessed today Cause my family got my back like it was yesterday You see we look out for each other through the stressful days This our song, all you gotta do is press to play Pull out your cameras, let me see if you can get the frame We got enough family to play a full court game And there's love for one another, even when we fuss or fight But it's alright, correct the wrongs, focus on the rights Mama ride for us like she on, on Uber And daddy laid the foundation, build our own future You see, home is where the heart is And family's what you depend on If you get it, come on over Let me sing along You see, there's not enough family Not enough family There's not enough lessons Not enough lessons There's a whole lot of blessings A whole lot of blessings And there's not enough Nelson Not enough Nelson I said there's not enough family Not enough there's not enough lessons. Not enough lessons. There's a whole lot of blessings. A whole lot of blessings. But there's not enough Nelson. Not enough Nelson. That's it. So much fun and a great way to teach kids. Another way to teach kids is, if you remember in my rush morning routine, I turn everything into a game. So let's remember that. Flashback. I got a four year old. I gotta convince him to get dressed, go to preschool in the next like five minutes. And you don't wanna start a tantrum. It's a very delicate time right now. I can tell he's kind of on the verge to get do a tantrum any second now. So how should I do it? There's always the bargaining of like, get dressed and I'll give you a pack of Pokemon cards. Or, you know, there's the threats of get dressed or you will, I will take away your Pokemon cards. There's that way too. Or there's like, let's play a game and see how fast you can get dressed. Let's try that one first. Hey, Ledger, guess what? Do you want to beat your record? Look, I remember you got dressed yesterday in 30 seconds. Do you think you can get dressed in 20 seconds today? I think you can. Do you guys think you can do it? Yes. Three, two, one. seconds. Give me a high five. That's how you do it. And a flashback. What you didn't know is he was literally ready any second now to throw a fit there, but we were able to curb it with a game. All right, next half nine, and this takes place in my closet. As most NenFound members know, this is kind of my safe space, and it is where like I read my scriptures, say my prayers, and just kind of have this vision wall. I just love this space in my house, and it's just teeny tiny, but here's what's super cool about this space too. I have this bench right here across from my chair. Right here is where my kids sit one at a time every Sunday. And during that time, they are able to kind of tell me about like you started out saying like the schedule for that week and so forth. But it really is kind of a check in time with mom to just kind of unload anything that's been really stressful or hard for you or if things are going good. It's a great cheerleading session of what they're doing and their future goals. But it's just awesome to set aside a little bit of time, even if it's just 20 minutes per child to check in with them and have that one on one time. A lot of times those talks turn into a couple hours, which is a okay. Hey, number 10. This is called love sandwiches. I don't know if any of you have heard of love sandwiches, but this is how it goes. So if I need to tell any of these cute kiddos of mine something that is kind of constructive criticism, I always do it with a love sandwich. So first you will say something that you love about them or something that they are really doing good at in their lives. And so for instance, you can be like, you know what? I can see that you are trying so hard to do your homework every single day. And I love that. And then you add the little constructive criticism of something that you need them to kind of work on. But it would be really helpful to mom if you would try to do it right when you got home from school instead of doing it right before bed because it makes everyone have to stay up way too late. And then sandwich in the love. But I'm so proud of you for doing your homework and working super hard to make sure that you are prepared for tomorrow. So see how I did that? Love, then concern, and then what you love about them again. So that then they just feel loved and they understand they heard that in there, but they don't leave feeling discouraged. Now that's genius. Okay, hack number 11. So hack number 11, I'm going to have Presley help me. Presley, what is one of your favorite, favorite things to do with mom? Ooh, this is a hard one. There's a lot. Um... Probably either Wacky Wednesdays or Silly Saturdays. Yes, because what? Why is that fun? Because we're just going to be together, just us two. Yeah, that's so sweet. Just us. 
one on one time. <laughs> my mom used to call them mommy daughter dates. But yeah, they're kind of. We call them wacky Wednesdays because we go on Wednesday in the middle of the day. They get checked out of school, they go do fun stuff. It's just an awesome time. We like, do some wacky stuff. Wacky stuff. It's awesome time that even I remember. I am 48 years old and I still remember my mom bringing me on mommy daughter dates. It's some of the best Hi. memories ever. Hi. Hi. All right, on to the next hack. All right, next hack. So. Sometimes it's hard to talk to like preteens or kids about certain things that are a little bit like awkward, right? You remember an awkward talk that we had? <laughs> it wasn't that bad. It, it wasn't was too like... bad, yeah. So hack, so for this tip, I would say super important to have the talk with your kids even when they're younger than you think, like around eight or nine is when we do it because otherwise they start learning things from kids at school and places that aren't the best, right? I also love that we do this. We do a piece of jewelry with the boys. We've done like a ring or a necklace that hangs on. For the girls, we've done rings. So they have a ruby and it's just a reminder of the special talk that we have and just kind of their commitment to just kind of be honest with us as parents and then one day this ring will be replaced when it's time to be honest and have a commitment to your new spouse, right? AKA get married. AKA get married. So I love this one. This is something that we have tender to our hearts. You've seen some of them on our channel. Um, most of them haven't been on our channel because it's up to my kids whether or not they want to be filmed and so sometimes they haven't wanted to be filmed for that part. But you were cool with it, right? You remember yours? That was such yeah. a special time. You look so cute. Oh, oh you're growing up. She's 12 now. She was only eight. That was four years ago. Wow. Holy cow. Okay, on to the next hack. All right, hack number 13. What is this, pray tell, that I'm throwing around as much like a football? It's not. It's an outfit pod, people. What is that? And this is a huge help to Mr. B because I don't know why, but that kiddo loves to pull every single thing off of his shelf and put it on the ground. So we like to put his outfits together in these pods at the beginning of the week, and then he's able to just get them out. And look, people, it has his socks. It has his underwear. It has his pants, his shirt, the whole kit and caboodle. I'm gonna show you how you put that together. So it's pretty easy. You just lay out the shirt, lay out the pants on top, this, lay out the undies. Once you got that there, you fold over the side, you put the socks here. Don't pay attention how dirty they are. He's a boy, he plays outside people. It's okay. You roll, 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 roll. And then these little guys, they look like little ears. You just wrap them around the pod here. I'll show you. It's a, it's a little more intense when Beckham's here, thus I'm doing it without Beckham, but it is helpful to have his little hands because he really enjoys this part. You put these over the sides like this and wow, kazow, you've got yourself a pod. He'll do a few like passes with it and then it's ready to go under his bed, ready for Monday for school. That's pretty good. While I'm here in Beckham's room, I will tell you my next hack. Um, Betty's people, oh my goodness, this changed my life. Especially as far as having your kids make their own bed. Look at this, how fast and easy this is. Our little buddy, even little Beckham, he is able to make his own bed in the morning. Whew best invention ever. All right, hack number 15, people, is my morning devotional. If you are a True Nam Found member, you've seen my morning routines, and we never start a morning without morning devotional. I love that. And so what I usually do is I read a set of scriptures, or I have a thought, or in my own personal study, I've thought of something that would really help my kids, and I kind of make it into a little semi-devotional, little lesson for them in the morning before we go out. And then we usually have family prayer, and that has really helped us through the years, just to like set off the day on the right foot, and it's just been something that we have treasured and loved and all of the kids always remember morning devotion. Last but not least, hack number 16 is this closet. You're probably wondering, why is the closet a hack? Because I have seven daughters right now living in this home and they used to fight over clothes like crazy. I'd have to buy four of the same shirt because they would not share. But I came up with this idea to do a wardrobe closet for all of the girls and they brought clothes in and if they are able to bring clothes in they are able to check clothes out and it has been awesome like all of the kids are so excited every night to choose their clothes for school and they haven't been fighting and so this has been a huge hack in fact to prove this I have asked Cassidy as a special guest Cassidy do you remember a certain event when um you had like a watch, I believe, and Kennedy wasn't very happy that you had borrowed the watch. And yeah. would you like to elaborate at all on that? Guys, this is absolutely proves how crazy my sister is. <laughs> so I went in a room like any other sister and still a watch. Like I still clothes, still watch. All sisters are still clothes, right? So I stole the watch. It wasn't expensive. It was like a Walmart watch. 
ten dollars and I hide it and and then we have our devotional in the morning and I still was getting away with it didn't show the watch and as I was getting out the door you guys a little peek of the watch showed and Ken is like is that my watch and I was like nope ran out to my car put my keys in started driving all of a sudden I see her chasing my car <laughs> what you guys <laughs> Full speed. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. So I'm like driving slow because I'm scared of being like yeah. hurt her, right? Yeah. So she catches up to my car. I forgot to lock my doors. She opens the car door. My car door. While she's driving. As I'm driving, she jumps in. She jumps in on my lap while I'm driving. Meanwhile, our neighbors watering his lawn like. Oh, no. What is happening right now? Watching us by going all over the road. She's trying to take off her watch. Then I see my parents freaking screaming at us. Like, what are you doing? All over a ten dollar Walmart watch. They about ran into the. It was a dangerous situation. What did you thing. What did you about run into? The oh. mailbox. I don't know. They about ran into a mailbox. It was people. so embarrassing because my, my mom. Actually, you didn't make me go apologize. You made Ken go apologize to the neighbor. <laughs> Cause I was too scared. Well, she jumped in the car. I don't, I don't know. It was both of your fault. Anyway, proof that this is a majorly good hack. That is the end of my 16 hacks. I wish I would have known all of those before I got started, but you gotta learn somewhere. All right, love you all. Bye. Twins. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>